After doing a series of tests on the EHA valve and its circuitry, I determined that the control unit in this 560 SL has failed. So I pulled the control unit out. I pulled these screws out so you can see what it looks like. That's quite a piece. You can buy these rebuilt for around $500, but we're going to play around with this and see if we can't fix it. There are some reports that there are some components in here that typically fail, and we're going to replace those components before we go out and buy a new one. By the way, I have done a video on testing the EHA valve. I've also sourced the proper multimeter with the cables you'll need to do this test, and that'll be available on my website later. But I want to show you something. This is really interesting. If you badmouth the KE Jet system, this might be a surprise to you. We're going to leave this out of the car, totally unplugged, and I'm going to go see if the engine starts. So I'm in the car, and I'm going to try to start the engine. How many cars out there do you think you could get the engine started with the ECU removed? I'm going to show you this just to make sure you know I got it out. But maybe you think, can't you got another one stuck in there trying to trick us? No. This is it. This is a 560 SL KE Jetronic. The engine control unit has been removed. Watch this. <laughs> Can you believe that? That is the beauty of KE Jet. Granted, the engine's not going to run all that well and it won't be very efficient in terms of fuel economy, but it will get you home. That's what the designers designed into this fuel injection system. 